So let's talk about this because OnePlus just dropped something huge in China. And it's basically a sneak peek at what the rest of the world is going to get as the OnePlus 15R. And honestly, this one feels like OnePlus is trying to break the whole mid-range category again. So the phone is officially called the OnePlus A6T, and this thing is already making headlines for one big reason. It's the first phone in the world launching with Qualcomm's brand new Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. Now, we still don't know exactly how powerful this chip is compared to the Snapdragon 8 Elite, but Qualcomm isn't putting a Gen 5 badge on something unless it's serious. Whether it sits just below the Elite or somewhere surprisingly close, we'll find out soon. But the fact that OnePlus is debuting it here says a lot. And the rest of the hardware, OnePlus did not come to play. Up front, you're getting a 6.7 inch OLED display, 1.5K resolution, and a crazy 165 hertz refresh rate. That's gaming level smoothness on a mid-range phone. And yes, they even added an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, which is something you usually see only on ultra flagships. Camera-wise, they're keeping it simple. A 50 50 megapixel main sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 32 megapixel selfie shooter. Nothing extreme on paper, but OnePlus typically tunes these cameras pretty well. So I'm expecting solid results, especially with the new chip and Color OS 16 working together. Now here's where things get wild. The A6T comes with an 8,000 milliamp hour battery on a phone that still stays slim enough to compete with normal flagship, and they're pairing it with 100 watt fast charging, so you're basically topping up a power bank at flagship speeds. Plus, the phone has vapor chamber cooling and has earned IP68, IP69, and even IP69K ratings. That's about as waterproof and dustproof as phones get. Design-wise, they're bringing the micro arc metal frame we saw on the OnePlus 15 and the color options are pretty interesting. Black and green come with this silky matte texture that looks super clean while the purple model switches things up with a fiberglass back. It's different but in a good way and for everyone outside China, here's the part you actually care about. This is almost definitely the phone that's going global as the OnePlus 15R. Same design, same hardware, the only real difference we know so far is that the global model isn't getting the purple version. You'll still get the black Black and green though, whether OnePlus tweaks anything else for global markets, we'll see. But as of now, if this is what the OnePlus 15R is based on, the mid-range space just got a new problem. Because OnePlus is putting flagship level power, insane battery life, premium build quality, and top tier durability into a phone that's supposed to sit below their main lineup. Let me know what you think, does this feel like a real upgrade over the previous R series? or is OnePlus pushing too close to flagship territory again?